I wish you a Drizzy's Christmas. I hope that you will not miss this new episode of the verse I'm reacting to here. Good tidings I bring, you subscriber kings. I hope that you all continue with my channel next year. Hey, we got Drew's views here, back for a little Car Tuesday with the verse Christmas edition. So Merry Christmas to anyone celebrating today, but just cause it's a holiday, it's still Tuesday. I mean, I gotta keep it going on the verse season three. And today I'm up to, I believe episode 17 and 18, I'm cooking right now, I'm cruising through it. Uh, last time on, what did we have? Well, we had the return of Jasper on the first episode. Uh, Greg rented a boat, which he ended up having to buy by then, which I said he should have done anyway, now that he's filthy rich. Cruising out on a yacht. Uh, he keep, if he's gonna repair the boat or anything, which it doesn't see, I think it sank, but he'll probably need to hire more staff on anyway. Tough to sell one of those big guys by yourself, especially when you got a sad sack lapis on there. Uh, and then, you know, the return of Jasper coming in. Now, well, Stephen, as usual, was trying to make a lapis feel better about things, and she was digging it at some points, with, you know, trying to fish and things like that. But she said, she admitted that she kind of misses Jasper in like a sick way with the fusion. Then Jasper pops in. She wants to get back with Lapis uh, to be stronger. She's changed her tune on Fusion being wrong or weak or something. No, it makes you strong, but it's a continuing theme about how Fusion uh, is screwing with these gems heads, some of them at least, uh, and giving them these impulses to do this or the other, even if it's uh, a bad partnership like Malachite ends up being. Uh, so anyway, Jasper escaped again. I think we'll see her back by the end of the season, though. Maybe today, maybe not. I don't know. Second episode last time was of another flashback. Steven makes Greg sing about it anytime there's a flashback. So we got a little Rose Quartz action, as we can only get in the flashbacks. Uh, and it was at a time where Greg uh, was being a bit of a bum, a beach bum. Obviously, Marty had skipped town. He had stayed there. Marty left a, a kid there, though, which Greg had to babysit while he was mooching off of Vidalia, who got a job. Then he left uh, young Sour Cream alone with Rose Quartz. She didn't really understand how humans work still. Let him somehow climb on top of this Ferris wheel, which obviously is a little silly, but again, it is a cartoon here. Uh, and then uh, Greg was freaking out, obviously. Got him down, though. Told Rose Quartz... You can't do this uh, with babies. They're not like, she says they're not like gems because, you know, gems are made for one thing. They don't grow like that, even though we see they do kind of grow in some ways, like emotionally or in what they're able to uh, do, maturity, anything like that. But they don't physically grow, really, I guess. So, except when they do fuse. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was a wake up call for Greg to get his shit together a little bit. Uh, and then it led to him having a kid of his own, obviously. So, actually, maybe that was part of why Rose Quartz wanted to do it, too, based on all this. But anyway, I want to jump in today's set of episodes. So let's see what we got for Christmas with the Verse. All right, so it was indeed a pretty direct continuation from the last episode. Sub in Amethyst for Pearl. Although this was certainly more of an Amethyst feature than last one was a Pearl feature. Garnet uh, has really not hardly been in any of these episodes recently, but all good. We got the fusion of Stevani. So, of course, when Amethyst is continuing to set up her theory on fighting, uh, Need to be a spontaneous. I guess that was kind of the gist of her thing. You knew it wasn't going to work out well for her, uh, which it didn't. I mean, luckily, yes, Stevani was able to take care of Jasper and uh, 
So it does seem like Jasper was um, trying to use those monsters as her attack dog sort of thing. No match for Lion, of course, but uh, she'll be back, certainly still calling St St whatever form <laughs> Steven's in, calls him Rose, which is good still. Uh, but Amethyst, like I said, the self-esteem is going to be looking pretty dire at this point. Even she said at the end, you didn't need me at all. So I think we might be due for an arc there where she, again, has to realize that she is needed. Maybe she'll recalibrate her thinking on preparedness and all that. But, I mean, that is, a, that is a bit embarrassing on her end, too. She's essentially responsible for them, who are kids, really, and uh, she got defeated and they had to save her. So, yeah, it's, that's uh, not a good look for her, certainly. Uh, she is rightfully upset about it, but hopefully she doesn't do anything rash, like, I, I don't know, like leave or something. Uh, I could see that something like that happening, though, maybe. Maybe something like, oh, they don't need me, so, or Steven's better than me, or Stevani's better than me, whatever, which, you know, I'm sure they'll have to talk her out of it if that's the case, but it'll be some continuation of this with the way it ended, I'm sure. But so what is Jesper's plan doesn't really seem to be anything other than just fighting Rose. I mean, she keeps hammering home that that's all she's built for to fight. That's what she likes. That's what she's going to do. I mean, it seemed like she could have stayed and kept fighting here, especially since Pearl and Garnet didn't show up or anything, but I guess she wants to regroup under the ocean where, as I said, she lives there now, apparently. Um, and like I was saying about the eyes thing, too, I guess, like, because they're just the gems, they can just stay, live underwater if they want. They don't need to breathe, I guess, since they don't need to eat either, which but they sometimes like to do, like Amethyst especially. And uh, with the eyes thing, I was trying to talk about it during the episode, but I guess, can they really see out of any part of them? Like, Amethyst made the eyes, her feet into eyes, whatever, I guess, I guess they can. But good good little, basically, two-part episode there, or maybe it will be more than two at this point, the way things are going. I would like to see the whole team as a unit uh, next time, Connie included. But, uh, and I'm sure we'll get something like that by the end of the season here, if not next time. But, so, Stevani can fight, not just uh, dance and uh, do Fast and Furious shit, and uh, makes sense, she, uh, even though they didn't really practice, they were practicing fighting, you know, sparring with each other, but they weren't practicing as Stevani, maybe they will do that now, I, it, I guess it kind of seems like, well, I was going to say it seems like they need um, some impetus to fuse into Connie with danger or anger or something, but... Um, maybe that's not the case. I mean, I think they can just do the dance thing and get into it whenever they want, but I don't know. Um, but it was good to see, you know, uh, Connie was a little more ready this time on the battle, even before they fused, so, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think how it's gonna go down, you know, like I'm saying, they're gonna have some, in, uh, internal team drama here, probably, but... For the, the antagonists here, like I said, it seems Jasper's just kind of doing her own thing now. Will Yellow Diamond get a hold of her again? We saw that she wanted to get a hold of her. That's why she had the ill-advised plan to send the dumb rubies down to get her, but, but I still don't know if, if YD wants her back, you know, to fight for her again, get her back in the army, or to punish her, crack her or something. So, But I would think that, well, I could see it happening either way. I mean, that could be a way they get rid of Jasper if Yellow Diamond does get a hold of her. But, I mean, I want to see them, you know, I want to see our heroes defeat her on their own. But we will uh, we will find out maybe by the end of this season three of the verse here. Maybe not. Anyway, I'm excited to continue next time. And we'll be in the new year, New Year's Day. Look out for uh, the verse season three reaction so look out for the reaction for episode 19 and 20, New Year's Day, season three of the verse. But until then, everyone have a merry day, and I'm up out of here. Peace.